Hi, and thanks for joining the lesson today. Now today's lesson is going to be focused on Jacqueline Wilson. I loved her as a child, I loved her books growing up as a teenager, and uh, recently I was tidying up my house and I found some of my favourites from when I was uh, a child. So I found firstly the story of Tracy Baker, really loved that one, I read it again and again, loved the TV series as well. And of course now there's a book out about her as an adult with her own a daughter, so I recommend reading that one too. Another one I loved was Double Act, always secretly wanted to be a twin, just thought it would be really interesting to have someone, uh, you know, someone so close to you, but I just found it ex ex exciting as well that they had such different personalities, even though they were twins, so that's another one I recommend. And The Bed and Breakfast Star, uh, what I liked about this one, even though it was quite a sad story in places, she's always able to look on the bright side and make people laugh, cheer people up. And another favourite of mine was Salola Rose. So I really liked how she came up with her new identity and her new name, Lily Rose. So I'd recommend that one too. And of course there are many more um, newer versions of books out at the moment. And uh, ones even I haven't read yet. She produces so many books. So I do recommend reading as many Jacqueline Wilson books as you can. And so there'll be a quick quiz today. 20 questions, 4 rounds. Uh, so if you grab pens and paper, get yourselves ready. You can always pause the video if I'm going too fast. And then at the end, the answers are provided so you can mark your answers and see how you get on out of 20. And then, as always, there are creative activities at the end. So there's creative writing tasks and uh, ones that are more for people who like drawing, illustrating, that kind of thing. So do check those out as well. And if you do like this video and you'd like to see more of my lessons, then please do subscribe to my channel, 10 Minute Lessons. Round one will be Name That Book by Jacqueline Wilson. So what you're going to see for each question is a short description. I want to see, can you name the book from the description and write down your answers. They gave you to pause the video if you need more time, then feel free to do that as well. Good luck. Question one. So there's two sisters, they have an extraordinary and eccentric mother and she's covered in tattoos. Each tattoo tells a different story. Can you name the book? Question 2. The narrator and her family become unexpectedly rich, their mother wins a large sum of money and they move away to begin a new life together and she even comes up with her own new name. Okay, so what do you call this book? Question 3. This is a book for teenagers, three teenage girls who are the best friends and they search for love. It's about their journeys, uh, finding boyfriends, finding love and their friendship. Question 4. Troubled, curly haired heroine who lives in the dumping ground, but she's sure that her mother will come and get her soon. And this is the first book that she really became well known for, her first children's book that became really successful. Question five, final question for round one. A girl's best friend dies unexpectedly, but she returns as a ghost and only her best friend can see her. What do you call this book? Round two. Name that character. But this time I will be describing some of our most famous characters and let's see if you can name them both names if you can. So again, write down your answers, pause the video if you need to, and there's five questions again. Good luck. So this again is one of her earliest books. Here are the twins from Double Act, but what are their names? So two answers here. Name the twins from Double Act. Question seven. In the story Candy Floss, the narrator is nicknamed Floss. But what is her real name? So the clue, Floss gives you a clue, so think carefully what's her real name. Question 8. Name the main character from the Lottie Project. Again, Lottie might give you a clue. So name the main character in the Lottie Project. Question 9. So what is the name of Marty's older sister? And the worst thing about my sister. So Marty's the main character, but what's the name of her older sister? And the final question for this round, question 10. What is Dustbin Baby's real name? So let's name the book. And hint, she's named after the month that she was actually found in the dustbin. So that's a clue. Round three, complete the book title. So you're gonna see some uh, book titles here, but there is a word missing in each title. Let's see if you can think of it. And again, pause the video if you need to, write down your answers. Question one, fill in the blank. The bed and what star? Okay, so the bed and what star? What book title is that? Question 12, fill in the blank. Rent a, and the picture should be a bit of a clue, so rent a what? Question 13, this is one of our more recent books, Dancing the What? 
Okay, so it's a type of dance, dancing the what? Question 14, fill in the blank, the something website. So fill in the blank, the something website. One more question for this round, and this question, uh, you can see the picture there, should give you a clue. So complete the blank, Lizzie who? What's her second name? Final round everybody, so it's out of 20, round 4, about the author. So how much do you actually know about Jacqueline Wilson herself? So here's a picture of the author, and let's see how much you know about her life. Question 16, here's a lovely picture of her as a child. What was her nickname when she was at school? It's also what she named one of her books later on, when she wrote about her childhood. So what was her nickname at school? Question 17, what year was Jacqueline Wilson born? Okay, so I think, what year was Jacqueline Wilson born? Question 18, so Jacqueline Wilson was a mature student, I mean she was over 18. So she went back and did uh, her A-levels later on, she achieved an A in, in A-level English, but what, how old was she when she achieved that A? Question 19. In which year was Wilson appointed Dame Commander of the British Empire? A really prestigious award that she really deserved. So, no so in which year was Wilson appointed this a prestigious award? You decide, write down your year. Final question for this round, what is the name of Jacqueline Wilson's daughter? So you can see a lovely picture of them there. And she's actually a writer as well and she works at Cambridge University, but what is her name? Okay, once you've got all your answers, again, rewind the video if you need to, pause it and things like that. At the next slide you are going to see the answers, so you get a different coloured pen ready to mark your work and your final mark will be out of 20. And here they are, here are the answers for each round. Okay, round one in the purple box, round, blue, round two in the blue box, round three in the red box and round four in the green box. So check your answers carefully and how did you do? Check them carefully and give yourself a mark out of 20. Now that you've completed the quiz, I have three ideas for learning activities that you can try and allow you to get creative. Again, they're all Jacqueline Wilson themed. Idea 1. Write a review of your favourite Jacqueline Wilson book. Then you can post it on her website and she can read it. There's a section on her website specifically for posting reviews. So think carefully which was your favourite and um, we'll just go through how to write a review. I have a whole video on review writing. Again, it's been on my channel, 10 Minute Lessons, that you can watch for more detail. But these are the key ingredients of a review that you definitely need to include. Brief synopsis. So this means describing what happens in the story but without giving away spoilers. Keep it very brief. Opinions about the characters. Who was your favourite character? What did you think of the main character? Were there any who you didn't like and why? Always justify your opinions. What was your favourite moment in the book and why? So again, always justify those opinions. Who would you recommend it to? From age group and star rating out of 5. And again, explain why did you give it, what you give it out of 5. So again, do post them on Jacqueline Wilson's website. And if you want more detailed information on how to write reviews, then please check out my other lesson uh, on 10 Minute Lessons Review Writing for Key Stage 3 pupils. Learn idea number 2. Okay, choose your favourite character from this list, write a diary entry in the day of your lives. So try to pick the most interesting characters here, Tracy Baker, Dolphin or her sister Star, Charlotte or you could write from Lottie's point of view in the Victorian age, Ruby or Garnet, which one are you actually more like? and April. So again, if there's another card you prefer, of course you can do that instead. Start your diary, Dear Diary, and really step into their shoes, think about what would their life be like. So it would probably help if you read their book first. You could even start before uh, the book started, you could start afterwards, you could start in the middle of it, or you could just write um, a completely new creative story involved in that character. My final idea for you, another uh, opportunity to get creative, so if you're into your art and your drawing, you're quite artistic, this combines drawing with writing, so you could design a new tattoo from Marigold, so in the book, her tattoos tell stories, every chapter is named after one of the tattoos, and she explains how she got it and why she got it, so if you choose a new uh, tattoo from Marigold and explain its meaning, you could design new outfits for Ellie and her friends, and Dean and Magna, so three very different friends, think how you would design the clothes and what might they wear. 
finally, poor Elsa, the bed and breakfast star, she doesn't have a house or a room of her own, so we've designed a bedroom for her. How would it reflect her personality? And final idea, you could design a new cover for your favourite story and write the blurb. Okay, so you could uh, design a completely new cover and think how you would make it different, make it yours. I hope you enjoyed today's quiz and if you did there are plenty more in my channel including Harry Potter quiz and the Roald Dahl quiz and the Big Book quiz and there are also lots of lessons for GCSE and A-level pupils so please do subscribe to my channel, recommend it to friends and I hope you find it useful for your learning. Thanks and bye!